Today's video is sponsored by Rent. Hi there, welcome to my apartment. This is the entrance to my place. It's the first thing you see when you walk in the door. I have this little hallway here. It has both my bedroom and my bathroom coming off of it. And then this leads into the rest of the space. My apartment is a 700 square foot one bedroom and it is completely renovated. And even though it's completely redone, I do feel like it still maintains a lot of its original charm, which I like. I really love mirrors. I know a lot of people don't like having a bunch of them in one room, but I am not one of those people. I have a ton because I really think they make a space look bigger and brighter. They kind of bounce light around. Plus they're timeless. They never really go out of style. So you can hang on to them for a really long time. This is Fig's hangout. It's her favorite spot in the apartment. I have done so many DIYs for my cat. I've made her so many things, but this crate is by far her favorite thing. If you have a cat, I really recommend getting one of these. I just put a little rug square in there so that she can scratch it and it's a little bit more comfortable. got this couch about a year ago and I really fell in love with this dark forest green color and the material of this but I wasn't really sure if it would work because my style is pretty like light and bright but I really loved this green color and I ended up getting it and I'm so happy that I did. I feel like it actually suits the space really well and kind of grounds it a little bit. So I actually don't have a dining room table, so I just throw a few floor pillows around here and this is where I sit and eat. I did a little series making these shelves for Fig because she loves hanging out on the top of the center divider and she needed a way to get up there. She used to climb up this blanket ladder here but she got a little bit too big so now she can't climb up that. So I made these to try and fix that issue but she has yet to use them. So I think I'm just gonna take the carpet off and start using them as plant shelves or bookshelves or something. I was able to find this apartment with the help of today's sponsor, Rent. Rent helped me find the perfect place by narrowing down all my options to just include the things important to me, like a good view, a good location, and of course, something pet friendly. One of my favorite features they have is their interactive map that makes it super easy to narrow down your ideal location and their walkability scores allow you to know exactly how easy it is to walk around your new neighborhood. You can save your favorites to go back and look at later and you can contact the property with ease. So a big thanks to Ryan for helping me find this place and for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the tour. This is my favorite spot in the entire apartment. I fell in love with this window seat area when I toured the place. It's what made me wanna move in. In this white outfit, I'm going to be completely covered in hair in a second. I recently did this daybed extension because I really wanted to be able to lounge in this area. And before I just had some cushions here and it just wasn't very comfortable to lounge on. So I added this and the build was super simple and renter friendly. So I can just take this out really easily whenever I want or when I move out and there'll be no damage to my apartment, which is really nice. I also hung a hammock in this area and this is really great to be able to pull out whenever I want to use it. I will say this isn't renter friendly for everybody. Some places don't allow you to put holes in your walls. So if you're renting and want to do this, just be mindful of that. I also made sure to install the hardware into studs so that it's safe and not going to pull out of the wall. 
This spot has some of my favorite projects I've ever done. I have my drip shelf here, my tile table, which was all the rage in 2020, and my mushroom stool. I specifically designed this cabinet to fit this space because I needed something that was gonna have a lot of storage for my supplies and tools, but also something that had a lot of counter space on top because I was doing a lot of, I'm gonna give Fig some privacy. You done? This cabinet also doubles as Figgy's litter box. It has this really cute flower shape as the entrance, and this one's a lot bigger than her previous litter box. So now she has a lot more space and it's a bit more comfortable for her. So that brings us to my kitchen. I have this fun peel and stick wallpaper here. This was from the Odo Studios Tay collection. And to create this checkered look on my tiles, I actually used vinyl. I use removable vinyl on everything. As a renter, it's so handy. Whenever I get bored of it, I can just change up the color or the shape. I have a lot of cabinets here, which I love, but I have so much stuff. So I actually ended up using the top of the cabinets as storage, and then I just put a little curtain over it so you can't see the chaos. That's where all my big tools and big paint cans are stored up there, out of sight. This is my bedroom. I wanted this area to be very relaxing and peaceful, but to be honest, it very rarely looks this put together. This is kind of like the land of misfit toys of my apartment. I end up putting a lot of stuff in here that I still love but just don't have a good place for or things that need fixing. Like these lockers for example, before I had a more functional cabinet in my office space, this was over there and now it's just kind of in the way but I don't have the heart to get rid of it. I thrifted this mirror a few years ago and added that bamboo detail along the edges but don't look too closely because it's missing pieces now. And so is this guy. I love this puddle table I made, but there was an incident and now it's missing a leg. So all good things in here that just need some TLC. And that brings us to the last stop on this tour, my bathroom. I have this fun mural on this back wall and these shelves are actually prototypes of the drip shelf. Um, so they're a little unfinished and kind of funky in here, but I love them. Mm -hmm. 